Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, The Nazi Factory. And guys, in today's video, we'll be talking Zuma Spy Tapes, Ricky Rick and the Fake Shoe Saga, Johan Rupert, and Bonang from A to B. Guys, Zuma Spy Tapes, guys, our president, our president, our president. Hey guys, I think it was Google who, who, who tweeted that, guys, I've never, or did you see this, my guys, who said, I've never seen someone, you know, trying so hard uh, not to try to prove himself innocent. Guys, you know, our president has been having the spy tape saga and all these corruption uh, charges thing for like the longest since before his presidency essentially because um, the reason why he is our president anyway is because certain things you know were pushed aside were like nah uh, NPA bosses were like no there's no need to uh, carry on with such charges that's how our president came to be guys so now he was in court uh, I think it was probably yesterday at the you know Supreme Court of Appeal with these uh, you know lawyers legal team with your tax money to just go argue you know uh, why these things shouldn't be reinstated and stuff like that um, you, funny enough, what happened was that Zuma's uh, legal team actually conceded to say that, you know what, nah, let's just leave this. But now they just want to make uh, representations as to why he shouldn't be charged. You know, it's just legal, legal jargon that most of us won't understand and stuff like that. But the main thing I want to take away from this, guys, would he, would he really concede if he didn't know that he had an advantage? Guys, this guy is using your tax money to get the best of the best lawyers for a president. Think about it. Do you really think he's going to uh, shoot himself in the foot and just concede? No. I really believe there's an advantage that he has that we don't know. It's a lot of legal technicalities that will end up showing up. Apparently, there's a legal technicality on whether Sean the Sheep Abrams can even actually uh, review uh, what you call their own uh, judgment, essentially, of whether they should or should not uh, charge anyone, something of that sort. So, guys, I really don't see this getting anywhere. Uh, another prediction I just have, it's just my own uh, prediction, is that if this gets into the way of his presidency, which of course the president has to uh, step step down and resign because now you can't be a sitting president and you have all these legal stuff that you have to do, he'll probably come the ANC's December elective conference, um, step down after whoever which candidate um, actually succeeds him, probably going to be Ramaphosa or Gosalana Tlamini Zuma anyway. That it, if, if it has NDZ, yo, it's even better for him. Like he's, he's relaxing. He can go take a break now. That's just my own prediction. Guys, 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 the Ricky Rick fake shoes uh, saga lentole. Guys, hey, my favorite people are being touched on the timeline. Eh? So what essentially happened is that uh, this kid, I don't know his name, showed up, I think, I think they were at Dip Street store in Bramfontein. And Ricky Rick was in the store and all these guys were in the store, guys. You know, Bram is a very hip place, hip and trendy place. You must know what you're doing when you're, when you're over there. You know, bro. You must, you must come there looking fresh and clean, you know. And it's the whole design. It's the whole design, as Ricky Rick would say, would say himself. So this kid was wearing a pair of Balenciaga shoes. I'm sure you've probably seen these shoes. These shoes cost 25000 and These are very nice shoes. I'd like to have them myself. Um, and then they, re they realized, or probably somebody spotted out, that these shoes were fake. Ricky Rick himself... Then, like, somebody posted a video of him saying that, no, these things are fake. Get get them out of here. These shoes are hella fake. These are uh, Felenciagas, Fugaziagas, something of that sort. So then, then you proceeded to buy the, the young man a pair of vans, you know, just as a, you know, consolation prize. You know, take this, you know. So many people on the timeline on Twitter just been like, ah, yeah, yeah, Ricky Rick is it's very wrong what he did. We don't, uh, what he did was just wrong for a person of his stature. Kids look up to him. People, kids want to be like him with the style and stuff like that. But then I'm saying, okay, this is my view on the whole matter, guys. I have myself bought a pair of fake shoes before. I've played myself like that before. This was back when I was in high school. But Gang, if you're watching this video, you know very well what I'm talking about. Um, from that moment onwards, I was like, no. Guys, there's no need for this peer pressure thing. Guys, no. In, like, there's no time for that, dude. There's no time for me to try to attain a look and something like that. Be yourself. Be original. Rather, work your way up to get what you like. So there's no point for me trying to look like, yay, trying to get these 350s, trying to get these 750s. No. Rather, work as well. Stay in your lane and wait and you'll get that thing. So now, um, at least the, the, the Ricky got this guy a pair of vans. Guys, this kid knows very well those shoes are fake. He knows very well. Dude, like, the thing is, if you're going to go for like that kind of price point even as well, dude, it's... You're kind of playing yourself at the same time. But guys, at the same time, with the whole fake industry, fake counterfeit Fugazi products industry, guys, you don't know the chain of uh, production there. With legal shoes like your Nike, your Adidas, you know where that shoe is coming from. You can ask Nike for receipts. If we're going small street, you don't know. It's like, guy. You don't know where the shoe is coming from. You don't know who made that shoe. Who like it could, it could be a kid doing that. Same for Nike as well. But you can go sue Nike. You can't go sue the guy at small street. 
That's all I'm saying, guys. Don't buy fakes. There's not support, stuff like that. If you are the one making Balenciaga shoes, making your own kind of brand, and somebody or me, myself, goes and makes fake products, selling it for a third of a price or something of that sort, you wouldn't be happy. You'd be on my case. Guys, in other news as well, guys, Johan Rupert, yes, this guy's disrespect. disrespecter, guys, South Africa's richest man has gone on to say that radical economic transformation is a term or it's just jogging for uh, stealing and looting, guys. This is coming from the same guy who benefited from the system of apartheid, probably did not do anything to undo it anyway. So, guys, Johan Rupert and Jay, tech, uh, nobody cares, screw, screw you, fam, like, dude, your, your wealth was built on black pain anyway. So you can just buzz off my guy. Like guys, you want to repeat, give me, give me, give me say, but I don't I don't know, dude. Like why would you go around saying that knowing very knowing very well that you benefited from the system of apartheid essentially? Guys, you want to repeat, you are cancelled, man. Damn it. And guys, lastly, guys, Bonang from A to B guys. Part two guys, edition two guys. Bonang, I think probably yesterday, uh re-released a book, a second edition of a book from A to B. Uh, beautiful launch, guys. Beautiful, very beautiful launch. Guys, I admire Bonang. I want to be on a level. Now I want a G-Wagon. Now I want Ubay that can also support me so we can also go in combos here. X6, M, N, I8. You know, stuff like that. Guys, I just don't understand, guys, how or just why. She just still hasn't issued a young apology Nyana for the first edition. Just some of the errors, guys. You know, she's just been laughing at us on a reality show and a publisher went on radio as well to go and say that no, these attacks ended up becoming personal. You don't understand you don't understand the book. You're not writers. Uh you know stuff like that. Stuff like Nitsi, guys. Nobody hates Bona. Nobody let, let that be known. Nobody hates Bona. She's definitely a South African icon. She is black excellence. She's a woman as well. Black female excellence. We want to attain such in the country. But when you just can't do into a basic as just with guys um, sorry for what happened with the first edition. There were a few errors. Yada yada yada. Done. Simple. Dude, she would have never even gotten that scathing attack on on Twitter. There would be no these personal attacks when they were just showing you screenshots of the book and stuff like that. Ah, you don't understand, guys. Guys, <sighs> Bonang, please, sisters, man. Sadly, just it's just the young guys. Sorry for the errors in the first book. Nothing. Done. Simple. We want to be like you. We want to be like him, as Trevor Noah would say, guys. Guys, thank you again for watching the video. Let uh, let me know what you think about. Uh, what I just spoke about in the comments below. Again, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And guys, I'll see you in the next video. Sure.